Nickelodeon's Orange Zone. Uh, Nickelodeon's Ozone. <clears throat> Nickelodeon's Ozone. Action. Keep watching Nickelodeon's Orange Zone. Hour one. Nick Arcade. And then, hey dude, Nick's Ozone. Get it together. Get ready for the ultimate video challenge as these two teams go head to head with a maze of electronic obstacles for the right to face one of our game wizards in the video zone. Start your engines, here comes Nick Arcade! And now, here's your host, the guy who recently got over his fear of being sucked down the bathtub drain, here's Bill Moore! Thank you, Andrea, and welcome to Nick Arcade, the ultimate video challenge. I'm here today with Dritt of the yellow team and Matt of the red team. We're going to play the face-off game Post Haste. Now, in this game, you have to maneuver your postman down a dangerous street, avoiding poodles and puddles and other pitfalls along the way. Whoever gets their postman the farthest in 30 seconds will get 25 points and control of Mikey, a video adventurer for the start of round one. Guys, in the position. Ready, set. Go! Okay, they're both running down. There's puddles and there's pets. Oh, random. There's someone right now we're looking at. One piece. Seconds where we are. Yellow team has a slight lead. Jumping and some steering going on. Uh oh. Red team ran into both. Both teams ran into somebody. Down to 10 seconds. And it's a tight game. We get down to five seconds, it looks like. Who is too close to call? We're going to have to watch this in the photo finish. We have a tie. Guys, get back over. Let's break this tie. Yeah. As a tie, I don't know why. Okay, we have a tie, gang. Hands on your controllers. This will break the tie and get us a face-off winner. Mario's new friend in Super Mario World is Yoshi or Yokohama. Yes, red team. Yoshi. Yoshi is it. Yes, you have the face-off. All right, hey, everybody, let's meet who's on today's show, starting off with our red team, Allie and Matt. Say hey! <laughs> now, Allie likes to do charity work. Tell us about some of the charities that you work for and, and what do you do for them? Well, um, I volunteer my time at the vet, and I also feed the homeless whenever that I get a chance. Very admirable. Great. You know, we have a lot of that going on. We talk about that on Nickelodeon. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, your partner, Matt, like to do rollerblading. Now, now rollerblading, that, now understand it's kind of difficult to do. Um, how did you get into that sport? Well, my friends did it, and I always wanted some rollerblades, so I went out and bought some, and I started riding them. All right, and you find it pretty easy? Yeah. All right, great. Hey, your opponents today are Brandy and Dritt of the Yellow Team. Say hey! Now, Brandy likes to do video dancing. Please explain, what is video dancing? Well, video dancing is like when you get a group of people, girls or boys, and you put together a routine, and then you go and audition it for a group of whoever the video is about or for. Wow, so you actually uh, shoot a video with you and your friends, whoever dancing. Exactly. Great. And Dredd, understand that you play for a hockey team now. We take uh, Nick Arcade here in Orlando, Florida. Where do you do hockey here? Do you do it here? No, I don't live in Florida. I live in Washington State, and that's where I play uh, hockey for the Bellingham Parks and Rec Department. All right. Well, great. Everybody, welcome to today's show. Okay, gang, gang, here's what we have to say about the rules. You're going to take Mikey, our video adventurer, and you're going to move him all around this screen in every direction except diagonally. Now, as you do this, you're going to run to our four Ps, points puzzles, pop quizzes, and prizes. Be careful, there's an enemy up there, and if you run into him, control will get zipped from you over to the other team. Now, all questions in round one are worth 25 points, and the team with the highest score at the end of the two rounds will go into the video zone. Now, before we get started, Andrea, tell us where Mikey's headed today. Buckle your belt and strap on your spurs, because today Mikey's galloping into Slurpy Gulch. In round one, he's searching for nuggets in the hidden gold mine. But keep that lantern on high, because that lily-livered outlaw, Billy the Kid, is in there somewhere, and you're going to want to see him coming. Feel your way past the goal here, and you will get 50 points. Back to you, Buckaroo Phil. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marshall Andrea. Now, Red Team, since you won the face-off, you have 25 points, and you get to move Mikey first. What direction? 
Uh, please. Mikey's going up. Pop quiz! Starting off today with a pop quiz here. I have a question for you. The correct answer will get you 25 points in control. Hands on your buzzers. Here's the question. What was the Lone Ranger's horse called? Yes, red team. Simba? Simba is incorrect. Do you have a guess, yellow team? You having a little comment? Uh, we think it's silver. Silver! Hi-ho! Silver away! That's it. 25 points. You tied up the score, yellow team. And now you get to move Mikey. What direction? Um, to the right, please. Okay, Mikey's going to the right this time. Split screen. Now, this is another one of our video puzzles. You know, believe it or not, the rabbit ears on our television set have over-multiplied all of our video images. The first team that can buzz in and tell me what object you can see inside the frame will get 25 points and control of Mikey. Ready? Let's split the screen. Here's a clue. It's a real blast. It's a real blast. Yes, yellow team. Space shuttle. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's the beat telling me yes. Let's just verify it. Boom, it is the space shuttle. Yes, yellow team. And you have the 25 points. You are now up to 50. You can move Mikey again. What direction? To the left, please. Okay, Mikey's going left. Time bomb. Now, see, you backtrack to a space that we've already revealed, and you'll lose control of Mikey unless you can correctly pong spell a word in 10 seconds. That means you have to alternate the letters between the two of you. You have 10 seconds to spell the word Sequoia. We're going to start with you, Dritt. 10 seconds to spell the word Sequoia. Go. S A S. That's uh, incorrect. Sorry. The correct spelling is S E Q U O I A. Sequoia. Okay, so no change of the score there, but control is now back in your hands, red team. You get to move Mikey. Up, please. Okay, Mikey's going up. Video challenge! <laughs> red team coming to the video challenge. Stacking up meeting him over here. How you doing? Video challenge. Get to add more points to your score and maintain control. Who's going to be playing? Matt, okay, Allie, hang on to the board. Okay. Matt, you get to choose from Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Rockin' Cat, Axe Razor, Soul Beast, and Robo Army. Which one would you like to play? Axe Razor. Axe Razor, head right over there. Come on with this, Allie. Axe Razor, this is a good game. I like this one because in this action adventure, you are an avenging angel fighting monsters. This game has six different lands, each with two acts. And today on Axe Razor, our expert challenge is 1,500 points in Casadora Act 2. You have to meet a beat 1,500 points in 30 seconds. Now, Allie, right now you have 25 points. Your opponents have 50. Of your 25, write down how many you're willing to wager on your partner meeting or beating the challenge. You have three seconds now. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, she's done. Super. Turn around, Matt. Ready, set, go. Okay, Matt. Matt is swinging his sword down. For each item that he hits, he picks up some points. Now the person that he just had, he got 100 points. For each of those, he's up to 500. The mummies get him an extra 100 points. He's up to 800 points. That's 1,500. That was getting shy of him. A couple of mummies. Okay, he is almost there. 1,300 points. He got hit with an arrow. If he can break this, he'll do it. He did it. Yes, Matt. Hey! Alright. So many points away before we leave. Points. We're gonna add that to your score and play some more. Head back over. Yeah. Da 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 da. Look out, Zoro. Here comes Matt. All right, man. Great plan. Add the five points to your score. You're up to 30, and you still can move Mike again. Let's do it. To the right, please. Mikey's going right. A prize. Hey, hey, hey. This is yours. Andrea, tell them what they just won. Yo, from Casio, a rap keyboard with 25 instrument sounds for rapping along, plus a voice effector and built-in mic. So fresh, only from Casio. Congratulations, Red Team. Yo, yo, boy. Okay, that is yours, and you get to move Mikey again. Wait a minute, that sound is telling me that I get to move Mikey straight to the goal. Time is faster ticking away in round one, and we are in sudden death. So I have a question for you. The correct answer to this question will get you 50 points and the goal for round one. Hands on your buzzers, everyone. Here's your question. Mikey's in the slurpy golf. Remember, here's the question. 
What California trees are named for the color of their wood? Yes. Yellow the redwood trees. Tree. Redwood trees is it. You have the goal. And the 50 points added to your score. Let's take a look at the old board and see where everything was in round one. There are some things. There's a prize down there, kind of midway below Mikey. Hey, that is it. Right now, we're looking at yellow team at 100 points, red team at 30 points. Round two is about to get busy. Come on back with us and see what happens. Because in round two, double points, double action, double sweat. Red team can bust the move. Yellow team can maintain the lead. Find out what happens on Nick Arcade. Hey. with Brandy of the yellow team, Allie of the red team. They're going to do the face-off thing on post haste. Now remember, you have to maneuver your postman down a dangerous street, avoiding people and pets and a lot of other surprises. Whoever gets their postman the furthest in 30 seconds will get 50 points and control of Mikey for the start of round two. Ladies, grab the controllers. Ready, set, go. And they're off. Killer, I'm back. Yellow team slips on the banana peel. Red team is down the street. Guiding and steering the postman. Red team just ran into a trash can. Yellow team just ran into a trash can. We're at 75 red, 40 for the uh, yellow team. All right. We're getting bumped along the way. We're at the 10 second mark right now, and red team has the lead. We're getting down to five seconds here. Time is ticking. They're both down. They're both up. We're running. We're running. And it looks like it's the red team's the winner. Hey, let's go back over and play some more. it off. You won the face-off. Great running. Hey, Andrea, where's Mikey going in this round? In round two, Mikey's driving his herd into the oh, sleepy town of El Dorado. But watch your step, not because of the cows, but because Billy the Kid is still on the loose. Dear Mikey, pass the goal and you'll rope in 100 points, Bill. <laughs> not because of the cows. Thanks, Andrea. Hey, gang, and don't forget the four P's are still up there. Points, puzzles, pop quizzes, and prizes. Video challenge, and of course, you silly the kid could get you, so beware of him. Now, all questions in round two are worth 50 points, and the team with the highest score at the end of this here round, partners, will be going inside our video zone to face today's game wizard. Now, red team, with that face-off win, you're up to 80 points, and you get to move Mikey first. What direction? Left. Okay, Mikey's going left. <laughs> Hyper Channels this is another one of our video puzzles. Now, you know, we recorded some television while we flipped through the TV with the remote control. And it seems, gosh, it just so happens that everybody was talking about the same actress. The first team that can buzz in and tell me who everyone is talking about will get 50 points and control of Mikey. Hands on your buzzers when you can identify the correct actress that everyone's talking about. Hey, guys, let's roll the Hyper Channel. Hollywood is buzzing about marine biology and the environment. Well, today's guest is actually... He thinks he's cool because he played young Bette Midler in the movie Species. I said, I'm going to play the young... Yes, Red Maya Team. Maya Bialik. Maya Bialik. Are they talking about Maya Bialik? Let's take a look. It's Blossom herself. Yes, Maya Bialik. And you have the 50 points. And guess what, partner? You've done ropes to the control and you can move Mikey again. Uh, Mikey's going up. Pop quiz, not ma, but the pop, right here in the old range. Here's the question, hands on your buzzers, so this is for 50 points. An early form of the word cowboy is A, cowlick, B, coward, or C, cow puncher. Yes, yellow team? Cow puncher. Cow puncher is it, yes. You snag the points, and you swipe control. You get to move Mikey again. What direction? Up, please. Okay, Mikey's going up. Video challenge, the big Z. Hey, yellow team, over the Z. Hey, here we are. We're coming back. Hey, hey, how you doing? Back to the video challenge. You know what's going to happen. Add more points to your score. Who's going to be playing? I will. Drit's going to play. Okay, Brandy, hang on to the board. Drit, you get to choose from Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Rock and Cat, Act Raiders Oliver, because we played it already, Soul Beast, 
and Robo Army. Which one of those four? Uh, Robo Army, please. Robo Army. Let's head over to Robo Army, gang. Head on over. Da -da -da -dum -bum -bum. I like this game a whole bunch because in Robo Army, this is a sci-fi action game where Rocky has to restore peace that the Cyber Army has disrupted. This game has six areas, and on Robo Army, our expert challenge today has been set at 1,800 points in Area 5. You have to meet or beat 1,800 points in 30 seconds. Okay. Now, Brandy, you have 150 points. Your opponents have 130. Of your 150, write down your wager on you, thinking this guy's going to beat him. You have three seconds now. She's done. Excellent. Turn around, my friend. Ready, set. Go! So you have to All right, hit pause to get started. Now get moving. That's the robot. He's battling away. He's fat. He's just that. He got 200 points. Each robot, he punches and annihilates. He gets 100 points. He's up to 900 points already. 1,800 points is what he has to be. Oh, he's racking up 100 points early. He can pick up the arm. Oh, he got kicked in the gut. Another robot came. He can pick up the arm and hit the that. He has to get 400 more points. Bam, bam, bam. Two more will do it. One more will do it. One more robot. Punch, punch, punch. He did it. Woo! <laughs> yes. How many points for wages? 20 big points. Get back over. We're going to play some more. Woo! Yeah. Man, he was punching. Woo! I get too excited here. I dig my job. And I'm going to dig up 20 more points to you. You're up to 170. And you get to move Mikey again. What direction? Oh, please. Mikey's going up. Whoa! The points keep coming. 50 points added to your score. You're now up to 220, Yellow Team. And you get to move Mega Mike again. What direction? Up, please. Okay, Mikey's going up some more. Pop quiz. Hands on your buzzers. This is for 50 points and control. Remember, Mikey's in the Slurpee Gulf. What is the capital of Mexico? Yes, red team. Mexico City? Mexico City, yes! 50 points added to your score. You're up to 180. Move the big M again. What direction? Left. Mikey's going left. 50 points! Wow! Added to your score. You're taking the lead at 230. Move Mikey again. Well, hang on. That sound is telling me we're almost out of time. I move Mikey straight to the goal, gang. We're in sudden depth. This question will get you 100 points. This question will get you the goal and a winner. So hands on your buzzers, people, to this question. The fictional horse in William Farley's series of books is called the Black what? Yes, Yellow Team. The Black Stallion. The Black Stallion is it? Yellow Team, you get the goal and 100 points. Please, this board, please. Please, just show us. There's everything. Prizes galore. Yellow team at 320. You are going in to face the day's women in the zone. Woo! Hey, red team. 320 is a great score. Andrea, tell them what great stuff they leave with. BK Diamond Cell. The performance shoes with the Diamond Cell diamonds inside and a hologram tag on the outside. When you got BK Diamond Cells on, you're ready for anything. And Percy's drink boxes. Introducing an exciting new look and three delicious new flavors. Strawberry, chocolate, marshmallow, and banana split. They're the best thing next to chocolate. Back to you, Phil. Here we are, hanging out in front of the zone. These two are going in to battle Mongo in the wizard level. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, power slam. Oh, power slam. Come on back and watch us do battle on the arcade. Yeah! Prepare for the next level. Nick Arcade will be back after this. Some stories can only be told at night, and the Midnight Society is telling them. Watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? Saturday nights at 9.30, 830 Central, only on SNCC. From across the galaxy to battle the evil Decepticons comes the ultimate Autobot hero, Optimus Prime. Transforming from big rig into powerful robot, he's the greatest Autobot warrior of them all. With a hidden battle platform, twin rocket launchers for double the damage, and a light and sound power pack for real battle action. And when Optimus talks, I am Optimus Prime. The Decepticons will run for cover. Transformers! Transformers Generation 2. Optimus Prime is all you see here. We are the Honey Go! We are the Yo, the dip in the dick. Lip smack and honey. The truth is really on and it looks kind of funny. The truth is in the shape. The truth is in the shape of honey. We are the dick. The truth 
is in the shade. Cup of coffee, honey. The crunch is really great. The crunch is on the money. in the ozone and now back to Nick Arcade hey hey we are back these two are ready to go through that door and to the wizard level now you have one minute to get through all three levels after the first two with the time left you will go battle Mongo in the wizard level for each item you pick up you will get fifty dollars and each level you get past you will get a great prize now, here is your challenge. Player one is in the Haunted Museum to retrieve three priceless pieces of art. But watch out for the gargoyle, the vampire, the tentacles, and the hand of doom. Pull back the curtain and the light will destroy all your enemies. Collect all three artworks and here's Andrea to tell you what you'll get. The York Portable AM FM Stereo System with play and sing and triple cassette with detachable personal cassette player. A full entertainment center all in one from York. Now, player two will be a cliffhanger looking to collect three hidden coins on the face of a rocky ledge. If the rock flies, snakes, vultures, or giant lizards touch you, you will lose power. Hit the TNT to blow open the cage and reveal all the coins. Get all three and here's Andrea to tell you what you'll get. Explore your world in the best-selling World Book Encyclopedia. 17,500 articles, 29,000 illustrations. From dinosaurs to space exploration, you'll find it in World Book. Now, with the time left, you'll both take on Mongo in the wizard level. Catch three floating orbs while avoiding dangerous energy blasting creatures. Touch the spinning hourglass and you'll freeze everything for five seconds. Beat Mongo by catching all three orbs and you will win today's grand prize. Discover a whole new way of looking at the world at US Space Camp, where you're playing like a real astronaut and you can fly a simulated space shuttle mission. Captain is located in Alabama and Florida as you'll fly on Delta Airlines with service to 34 countries all over planet Earth. It's no wonder Delta is the official airline of US Space Camp. At Delta, we love to fly and it shows. Good luck in the zone, guys. Good luck in the zone. Through that door and bust the move on Mongo. Go! Yeah! Mongo's waiting. But before they get the Mongo, up and down the stairs to grab the artwork. Then some crawling around on the edge of that cliff. They are ready. Set. Go! Great start happening again. Waiting for the artwork. Bam! There's one. A 56 second up the stairs. Looking for the second. There's two. Will the other appear? Where would the other appear? Watching out for the hand. Oh! Down. All right. Three at 45 seconds. Draw as you draw. There's one coin. That's it. There. 40 seconds down to one unit of power. Two coins. One more coin to get. Damn, this has been done at 34 seconds. They're going to go battle Mongo and rush the time. Up the stairs. The new Mongol red is down to one unit of power. They have one orb. There's 24 seconds there, out of power. It's started in game. 20 seconds, sun has been hit again. All right, they're down to two units of power. There's one orb. They're down to, oh my goodness. They're standing two here, Mongol in the energy blast. At 10 seconds, they're starting over. One more that we got, and then a three minutes of power. Two more, one to go. Hey, hey, done, 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 done. done. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, they grabbed themselves the triple to set player, the encyclopedia set, and the trip to space camp. Oh, look out, shuttle. Here comes Nick Arcade's winners. Dang, I enjoyed watching them. I know you had a great time watching them. Here they come. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Big squeeze! Did you have a good time in there? Yes, I did! Y'all right? Anything you want to say? Yeah, man, I want to say hi to Gregory, John Walton, Scott Smith, and Marissa Nee. Everybody, hey, what was the strategy? What was the strategy? Oh, I took the top level, she took the bottom level. And how did that strategy work for you? We worked out because she just so we just ran up and just did what we had to do. Kind of a comic country, we did what we had to do. Hey, here's what you have to do. Come back and check us out next time on Nick Arcade. Bye! <laughs> Mark.
Mark Summers here. Hey Dude is up next, and that means just 30 minutes from now, I'll be here with more outrageous challenges for only the courageous on What Would You Do? Arcade is taped before a live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. See you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on the Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh no, we have three. Two, one. Bye. bye.